Hello and welcome to another photo editing tutorial. My name is Alex Taradachuk and if you're new to this channel, I post weekly tutorials on photo editing techniques using Photoshop, Affinity Photo or other softwares that I can lay my hand on. So if you'd like to learn how to use these programs, please subscribe to my channel and ring the bell to get notified when I post new videos. And if you need more help, please drop me a message in the comments below. This week we will create this poster, Happy Halloween. Halloween is just around the corner and on my previous tutorial I've created a card, now we are going to create a poster. Everything that you can see in this image I will make available in the links below. First of all, let's set up the size of the page. So, to do that we go File, New and in the print area we are going to select A3, I think it's a decent size and let's add on some margins. So we created our page, now let's insert the images. The first image is the sky, so I'm going to drop it in here. Let me move this bit and resize it. For this one I'm going to choose only the sky and a little bit of flare there and that should be it. Next on our list is the forest, so let's size it up a little bit, change it to multiply, there we go, and you can move it as you wish, I think this should be okay. Okay, let's add in the moon and let's change the blending mode to lighten. And now you can see that the clouds are in front of the trees. So let's change that. So I moved the layer just beneath this one. Now let's add a mask to this and paint with, come on, where is it? This one, paint with black. And let's try to refine a little bit this one, this bit here. So you can see that already starting to look better. Let's add in another image. Let's see what else we have here. So if we look at the original one, we have here this post. So let's add that one as well and just play with it a little bit. Let's move it first, make it smaller, oh, I can see, something like this, okie dokie. Now we can add, play with the blending mode, put lighten and something like 60% for the moment. Let's add a mask to it. Oops. Okay, just go nuts with it. Okay. X to change the color and just go. Let's increase the brush size and just try to nudge it in there a little bit. Now, you, you don't need to be very careful here because it, it will blend in pretty good. Let's zoom in a little bit, make the brush smaller so I can make the brush smaller using the bracket keys. So I can see uh, something like this. Okie dokie, let's take this one, make it more visible for the moment. Oops, control Z and paint on the mask. Okay, something like this. Okay, so with the burn tool, let's play with it. So basically what I'm doing is add in some details using the mask see here it's basically 
basically starting to look better. It's hiding some elements, but it's very, very light. There we go. I think it's looking good. Let's zoom out a little bit. And we can change the opacity back like this, more or less. Okay, let's see what else we have to be to add. So think if I'm not mistaken, we have a spider on the moon as well. So let's add that in. move it a little bit and change the blending mode to darken and of course we need to add a mask and just mask away okay so we need to add a mask and just Try to take off this excess. Let's make it smaller. And it's easier just to paint over it in, instead of just trying to do like a advanced selection on it. Oh, oops. So select the image, make it a little smaller. I should have done that first so basically try to resize it and then add the mask and play with it so let's do like this and go back and just mask everything there we go and that is our spider on the moon now let's zoom in and see what we can do yeah looking good looking good what next let's see let's look at the initial image so we have this pumpkin there thrown in so let's do that as well take this throw them in there they're big so let's resize them so you can see even if you resize an image and it's here you can just grab it and just reposition it so don't be afraid if it's here and it's deselected for example when you click on it you just can move it okay so i think we can play with the blending mode as well let's put lights here what else? Let's zoom in because I think I think I we need to play a little bit with the mask here just to blend it a little better. So just a small tad here. Looking spooky. Okie dokie. Now I think mm, to be honest, I think for this bit here, we can play a little bit, just add one layer, adjustment, exposure, and just drop the exposure just for this. And you can see that It will blend better. Okay. Now let's close this up. Zoom back out. And so if you're zoomed in and you want to move the image like I do, just hit and hold spacebar, then move your mouse around and Basically, you can see you can move the image. That's another tip. Okay, let's continue. Let's see what else we have here in our original 
image. We have a skull. Skull here. And it's from this image. Oops. So the tablet is not responding to me today. So please bear with me. I need only the skull. So I think you can look for other images that have uh, just the skull or something like that. But I think we can use it for the moment. So let's use the screen. Should be okay. Add a mask. And let's play with it. Go to brush and brush away everything. Again, don't worry if you just go over the image. It will not show up on your print. So again, select the layer. And there you go. And from here, I think we can decrease a little bit the opacity. And it's here. Of course, you can create another instance of it. Just right click and duplicate. That will duplicate our, make it smaller. Come on, where's this one? Make it smaller. So you can transform it. Just transform, flip horizontal. And just place it here, you know, like two guards on the road. There we go. Let's zoom in a little bit and see what we've done here. Yeah, looking good. I think this one can be moved here a little bit and resized. So it will blend better. Something like this. There we go. Nice. Now, I think we have a house also in here somewhere. So let's add in the house. Let's select the house a little bit and just try to mask the image. So let's see what we have. First of all, yeah, let's go nuts. Let's add a mask and let's play here. Again, you don't need to be extra careful because it will blend in with the rest of the image. Now like this. If you want to draw a straight line, click here, hold shift and click here. And what we'll do, let me show you, basically click here, hold shift here, and it will draw a straight line. Yeah, so we can use this as well. So for uh, let's say a better, uh, something like this, you can see. So I put only only half of the house without the barn or whatever that is. So we can take this off easily. And if we want, we can bring it back later because it's masked. So it's non-destructive. I really like this option. So again, you can see that I'm holding shift and I'm drawing straight lines. Yeah. Now, the front door. Okay, let's do a bigger brush here. Hardness is okay. Opacity is okay. Flow is okay. So let's try to blend it in. Now. I think I moved the house. Okay, so let's put it like this here. Go back. And with the brush, just hide this bit here. Okay, something like that. Now, if you want to 
do something crazy just can do something like this you know so door is hidden by some trees you know okay now the color is not looking great so let's add a layer new layer and just put here color where is it color here pick up a bluish tone or we can grab blue tone from here and just use this and you can see that already started to look better okay so let's add in some some yellow you know from the moon okay looking good now we can change the opacity here so we can make it more like a washy color here and because it's a new layer we can add a mask and just hide D to bring back default colors and just try to match it in something like this okay looking good what else do we have i think we have a man in the window let's add that as well okie dokie move tool and this should be easy let's resize it change the opacity a little bit so we can see here zoom in so we can position the guy in the window we can put it let's put it here on the top floor let's something like this you can modify it so you can fit in the window okie dokie something like this now let's quickly select this use the rectangle select it like this and just hit mask Alt D to deselect. And that's good. What we can do here is with the brush tool, with the small brush tool, we can refine the edges. So, as I told you, click here and with shift hold click here hold with shift click here hold with shift here you can make the brush a little bigger click hold shift click down here click here down here so this is how you refine the edges okay something like this and here okay now let's add hmm, what we can add layer adjustment layer hmm, exposure let's make this a little brighter and just put it here and of course you can play with it you can see here okay what else we can do we can add another layer and 
let's add, I don't know, just a whitey-ish stuff. And let's try to make this something like this as glow. So let's see if we can do some glow here. So filter, blur. Mm. Zoom blur. Maximize this. Something like that. Okay. And we can put light then. Okay. This looks good. Lovely. Let's zoom out and see what we have here. Okay. And now I think what we have is just add in the text and that should be it. Now let's create a text and I'll use like a, a font that everybody has. So happy and let's make it bigger let's use the bold one okay happy something like this happy let's duplicate the layer Double click. Halloween. Let's be Halloween. And let's make it smaller. And let's change the color. Use a. Let's try to pick up a color from this eye here. So this should be it. Click on it. Nah, it's more reddish, but we can play with it after that. So okay, and take the image from here. Click on it, and okay. So let's make this font a little bit more creepier. In order to do that and to preserve also the layer, let's go to add a live filter layer and we go and we distort, we go to liquify. And here we can play with, with the font. Happy. Okay, we can make it smaller and let's make it droopier, something like this, you know, like it's flowing, dripping, happy, and so you don't need like a special font to buy. Okay, so you will not need any special fonts to buy. Happy, once you're happy with the result, <laughs> click done. It will take you back to this persona. Let's play with Halloween as well. So layer, live layer, distort, liquify. And do the same here. Just drag in you don't need to be very specific it just okay just something could appear like this happy halloween once you're happy with it just click done and there you go but as i said i don't want the graphics to touch the edge 
So let's resize it a little bit. And move it around. Want the guy in the house to be seen, so. All right, so because we liquefied the text, we cannot add a glow to the font easily. So, but what we can do is a trick. Hold Alt and click on the text. And I think if I did it properly, let's see it. So Alt, click on the text. And you'll see the marching ants there and click new. Fill. I don't care about the color, just click apply. And Alt, deselect. And now we should have perfect. Let's do the same with happy. So Alt, click on the thumbnail here where it says A, add a new layer, edit, fill, hit apply. Alt D to deselect. And now we have two, two layers, basically. One is pixels when one is font. Okay, let's put them underneath and this one we can do something with them. So, first of all, now if we go outer glow and we redo the air, the radius, you can see that is looking good. We can change the color to have like a more reddish. Click OK. The same thing for happy as well. So click on it, function, outer glow, change the radius, change the color. Okay, so let's zoom out. That's looking good. Now, to obtain this particular effect here, what I've done is created another layer like this. Actually, you can duplicate this one, Alt-J. Put it in front here. Alt-click and fill it with a different color. Let's say a uh, black color here. Click apply. Add a mask. And just with the brush, with white, you can just go over it like this. I'll D to deselect. So basically you'll see that you'll create this effect. Now we can change the brushes and have like a scattered one. Let's see, dry media. You can use this one. Okay. We can use this to have like a more, you know, bring texture to this. Like this, something. Something like this. Now let's do the same thing for Halloween as well. So Alt J to duplicate the layer. Alt click on the tab to get the marching ends there. Fill in the layer. Click apply. Deselect. Bring the text over. Add a mask 
and we can have the same thing let's make this bigger and just do like this you can see happy Halloween actually it's looking good let's do the same thing for this as well spooky okay looking better mm -hmm. what else we can do there okay I think here we have just a simple banner with the information and what I've done is just rectangle tool and just drag and drop a rectangle change the color to I don't know black and just add in some text I think here click on it and just add some text I'm not going to add now so and that concludes our tutorial for today I hope you enjoyed this one and you learned something new if you want to learn more please consider subscribing and hit the bell to get notified when I put new videos on until next time, happy Halloween and see you next week.